Hello. So for today, uh, we'll be learning some smarts using over the smiles strings. What what we have here in this box, which contains a lot of drugs molecule and a lot of non drugs, uh, some are agrochemicals. So uh, this this web page you'll find in the debug match tool from daylight, and here's our this text box to to write your smarts and it will make the query over the smiles and the page will show you which are the atoms it got matched here down so for the first one starting off I have already written it uh, the first uh, smarts indicates like any atom in a ring that is not an aliphatic carbon so once you depict it so you can see like lot of uh, all the aromatic carbons are been are been shown and been highlighted in all this uh, compounds let's do another one suppose for example I want all the hydroxyl groups so what I do it's the like oxygen semicolon like you so it will identify all the hydroxyl groups uh, in your in your data set see you can see it got matched only the hydroxyl groups for all these compounds yeah, so the format is O semicolon H1 let's uh, let's let's select this uh, C so this indicates two carbons separated by aromatic bond see it it selected only those compa atoms which are separated by you know, the aromatic bond so all the aromatic compounds uh, the rings are separated by the uh, aromatic bonds let's select another one so let's do some aliphatic carbon and nitrogen attached by any bond the tilde sign indicates any bond so here you can see here is this amine and here amine the carbon and the nitrogen is connected by any bond like maybe double or a single or aromatic yeah let's search some carboxyl group so it starts with C and So all the carboxyl groups are highlighted here so mention C is the aliphatic carbon so you can see this only the aliphatic uh, carbon is, uh, is shown convert uh, into a carboxyl group which is attached to a ring you can do this the carboxyl groups only attached to the rings are being shown here see this one here so only one hits are there for this compound and this compound and also for this compound So if I write this, so uh, so this indicates carbonyl with carbon so it returns like hits like aldehyde ketone carboxylic acid which is except the formic acid which is a uh, formic acid would not be uh, you know uh, will get selected apart from the anhydride uh, but not uh, formic anhydride acyl halides but these uh, this pattern won't hit 
the carbamic acid uh, or the ester or the carbonic acid see the smart string here so it matches only carbonyl with the carbon so if you want to uh, get the hits of conjugated conjugate pieces of carboxylic acid or carbamic or carbonic acid you can also write something like So C A X three means the carbon should bond with three other uh, branch with three other uh, atoms, and it will match in the oxygen and this uh, negative ion here. I think there is uh, none of these are having such pattern. No. Anyways, uh. So suppose if you don't want to hit the aldehyde or the ketone then you can write something like um, So this pattern won't hit the aldehydes and the ketones but it will hit the carboxylic acid the anhydrides acyl halides also Okay, for the uh, let's do one a thiol group uh, matching. So it start it since it contains sulfur, it should be something like sixteen um, X two H. Yes, there is one thiol group here. Only one. So this pattern matches the thiol group. So for another pattern, suppose I want to match any carbon attached to any uh, halogen. So what do I do? It's hash 6 or uh, then the hal hal uh, halogens are FCL, CL, BR, I. So the halogens get selected here. It's been highlighted. If I want to do a sile halide, so it should be something like CX3, uh, then it should uh, match one oxygen, uh, then also since it's allied it should be F uh, C L B R I so carbon with oxygen and some halides let's see yeah here is this pattern benzoyl iodide is an acyl halide you can see it match the data set only has one acyl halide pattern another one 
so this is an ether uh, ether representation where one oxygen has two uh, neighbors two degrees with uh, car one, one branching carbon and other carbon so you can see that it matches its, its two hits here it's one hit here and another one hit here and this one also Coming to the amides, let's uh, uh, or amides or uh, let's do uh, one nitrate group uh, pattern match. So nit nitrate group uh, maybe the nitrate anion along with maybe the nitrate group uh, is present. So uh, the pattern goes. It's a recursive smarts pattern. And it goes like this: NX3. Oxygen with one neighbor. This is the positive charge on the nitrogen. negative charge on the oxygen Uh, the smarts goes on something like this uh, because the smarts is nitrogen with three with three uh, pairs and along with oxygen with with one group uh, with one pair and another oxygen with one pair and uh, since it's nitrate then three oxygens and also positive charge on the nitrogen along with one negative charge on another oxygen so it matches both the anion and the normal nitrate form so after dip after clicking the debit then you can see this it matches the the hit here on this ac1 l1 db by dbo compound so let's do one primary uh, let's do primary amine and secondary amine but not amide so to do that nx3 So this one is like aliphatic one, aliphatic n with one or two further total connections, um, uh, and with one or two further hydrogen. So this one matches uh, the primary or the secondary amine, but not the amide, since the amide group is represented by CONH. So you just give a not sign here, and this won't match the amide group see all the primary and all the I mean got matched so for the nitro group you can do something like this
okay everything is okay yeah so nitro group has uh, the aliphatic n with one for the total connection uh, also n with a charge of plus one and aliphatic oxygen with a charge of uh, minus one so it only selects this one let's select uh, some azo uh, so azo compounds so for the azo is in x2 double bond nx2 so all the azo uh, nitrogen diazines will get selected here yeah, there is one pheno phenazopyridine and nothing else if you want to select hydrazine so it's pretty simple it's nx3 without any bonds uh, nx3 I don't think anything is there okay. let's select some other hydroxyl groups uh, for example hydroxyl in alcohol so only the uh, hydroxyl with the alcohol group will get selected so has six uh, oh, two yeah the hydroxyl group with the uh, uh, with this carbon thin alcohol group is, is selected so see uh, alco alcohol comes with one carbon attached to the hydroxyl group so you can see this uh, depictions here let's select hydroxyl in the carboxylic acid so carboxylic acid can be represented by CX3 double bond OX1 and this carboxylic acid actually uh, s selects uh, all the uh, all the aldehydes, ketones, and uh, uh, actually carbonyls. So you can see uh, the hydroxyl group with the uh, with the carbonyls. Yeah, all this all these things are uh, selected. coming to the hydrogen bond uh, acceptor where C is not in a ring and N not in a ring uh, but it has uh, but it is double bonded to an oxygen so how to write that is hash 6 so not in a ring is R0 So all the hydrogen bond uh, acceptors is just uh, represented here in the depiction. So you can see oh, this is one hydrogen bond. So there are two hits, it means there are two hydrogen bond acceptors. Uh, there's one, there's one, and here there are two. I hope you like the, uh, the video presentation. Uh, uh, Thank you.